Hello, welcome back. This ninth video is an XB digital data transmission using a method called IO line parsing and change detect. At transmit end, we use a micro switch to uh, send digital data high. We use pin DAO0, that is pin 20. At receive end also, we use pin 20 to connect an LED. So this IO line parsing virtually links the pins of one uh, XP directly to pins of other XP. So both ends uh, to be used same pins pin 20 only we are using for sending digital data we use a micro switch like this this micro switch has got four pins we will be using only two pins uh, for uh, sending data when you press the switch the two pins get uh, contact so the first pin and second pin only we are using you plug it onto your web breadboard the first pin let us connect a 10k resistor to ground so ground pin is uh, connected pin 10 is ground let us connect this to other end of uh, resistor the first end of resistor goes to pin 1 of switch at the same end is connected the pin 20 which is dio 0 of the xp so when switch is not pressed this dio 0 is at low level the other end of the switch that is the second pin of the switch now is connected to 3.3 volt that is the first pin of uh, xb is 3.3 volt let us connect it to the second pin of switch so when the switch is pressed a high is applied at dio0 which is pin 20 uh, now let us see the uh, receive side at the receive side we use an led and a resistor same pin 20 that is dao0 is used here also at receiver then only line passing will work the other end of the led that is the uh, shorter lead of led cathode is connected through a resistor to ground and the longer lead is connected to pin 20 which is dao0 this is the receiver side connection now now let us uh, uh, do the line pausing and uh, IC that is a change detect settings the first uh, XCTU window is connected with the first XP radio and the second one to second XP radio both radios are uh, programmed with 802.15.4 firmware to start with it is better to click on default and write so that the modules start with the default uh, settings by default channel is C and uh, ID is 3332 and uh, for uh, we will be using my address the first radio my address is 1234 and the second one my address is 5678 we will interchange the my and DL so that this uh, will have a communication and uh, go to DO that is the DIO 0 and set it to digital in 3 you can use the search bar to search the parameters next one is the it which is the sample rate let us leave it to one that is only one sample is taken this is the it settings and next search for ic which is the change detect this is very important let us use the built field calculator and change uh, we have connected switch to zero d zero so change that to one so this acts as a bit mask to enable disable edge detection on digital io pins so the hex values are automatically uh, set when you change it to one d0 to one so this ic direct is change detect and finally we set the ir sample rate to 500 millisecond we can use the calculator uh, time calculator 500 millisecond equal to 1f4 so atir is set to 1f4 every uh, 500 millisecond one sample is taken now click on write to write the settings so we have changed the d0 to digital input that is uh, 3 and then we have set the uh, sample rate that is a uh, uh, sample number of samples taken to be 1 and i see change detect as 1 hex 1 represents the d0 is uh, change detect d0 pin and uh, sample rate is uh, atir that is 1f4 which represents 500 millisecond we can also use the at commands directly inside the console either one method you follow if you are convenient with the GUI model 
you set the do the settings using the graphical interface otherwise you can open this console and uh, do the give the at commands for setting now at my uh, give three plus symbols and wait uh, it'll enter the at mode you can do the at commands here at my at dl at ic uh, at ir everything you, you can set in this at mode and finally don't forget to give ATWR to write the changes. Any one method you follow, either graphical interface or the AT command mode. Any one method, convenient method you can follow. Now go to the second module. Click on uh, default to change the settings to default and then write it. Now let us start the settings for the second radio. Oh, channel should be C, ID is 3332 and uh, destination low address that is the my address of the first one which is 1234. Here the my address is 5678 and then the next setting is D0 that is a D0 set it to low initially set it to low so that the LED connected there is in off condition initially. And the next setting is uh, uh, IA, which is very important. That is the uh, uh, I input address. That is IO input address. It should be set to one two three four. That is the my address of the transmitter. You can also set it to FF FF. That will also work. But generally, uh, you set the IO address to the transmitter source address. One two three four is the address here. So now click on write to write the changes. Now click on console and click serial connect. You can see the data flow inside the second radio. Uh, this uh, data flow has got a start delimiter 7E and then uh, two bytes for count and then 83 which represents 16 bit uh, uh, my addressing and then two address for uh, my address from where you get data and uh, finally before the sample uh, two bytes for active signal bytes which has got the which pin is active now let us test uh, press the switch at the transmitter end the data is sent high is sent and at the receive end you can see the led glowing press the switch the led will glow on the uh, opposite end this is digital transmission by line pausing and change detect method so we use both the methods line pausing and change detected uh, dio0 now let us uh, disconnect the usb cable from pc and uh, connect a battery 3.7 volt 2500 milliamps like this so this uh, node can be used as a tra portable node instead of connecting with pc we can give the power source from battery connect the uh, plus and minus uh, properly to red and uh, black wire now the battery is supplying power to this transmitter node now this is portable you can press the switch and you can see the led is glowing at the receive end same way the receiver end also can be connected with battery and made portable this is digital transmission by IO line pausing method.